it's time, people. It's time. We need to pixel peep. <laughs> I've been having a good time photographing with the GFX uh, 100. Thank you to Fujifilm North America for letting us play with it for a couple of weeks. And it's a beast. I did a portrait shoot with it. I've gone out and shot a little bit with it. And uh, the most fun I've had is diving deep into my photographs and pixel peeping. So I figured that's what we do today. Just look at some pictures together and jump in really, really close. So this was day one with the camera. And uh, if you look at this photo, there's a bird there. There's a bird. <laughs> and at first you can't see the bird, but look, if we zoom in here, and there's the bird right there. I shot this through a window. I wanted to see what bird it is. This is a common yellow throat, a common yellow throat. Here's my Honda CB360. I'm actually selling this motorcycle because I want to get something that's a little bit more modern. It's sad, but I wanted to take a detailed photo of it before it goes and check it, check it. If we zoom in here to the carburetors and the engine, look how nice. All right, you guys have seen this statue before. I use it for, you know, color tests and sharpness tests, but look how close that is. And you could see all the little detail in the bomb exploding base here by the way these statues are from sideshow collectibles and they're too expensive don't get hooked <laughs> i thought it'd be funny if we test corner sharpness here if you zoom in to the middle you could read this little sticker that's here which is crazy there's the little sticker and then i mean can you test corner sharpness on any of these gfx 100 lenses you know, cause it's, it's amazing how everything is sharp. Now, one thing that took getting used to is the format is different. It shoots in a more square format. Uh, just to zoom in here, we could see the leaves amazingly crazy, crispy, sharp. But uh, the next picture here, it is cropped. And you can actually do it, cropped it in a four by six, you know, uh, two by three format. And you can actually do that in camera. If you don't want to shoot in the square format, you can shoot in the more traditional two, three format. Okay, this in this image, this is if you're a really shy uh, street photographer, you could shoot from three streets away. And this is an example where I saw the scene happening, but I was way far. And uh, I'll zoom in first and then I'll show you my cropped photo. So there's the zoom, I'm looking at dad, the little shaft of light behind dad, which is cool, he doesn't get lost. And then there's the image. I black and whited it, dad with the bike going up the stairs. And so again, 100 megapixels gives you that flexibility of cropping. Uh, here's a flowerscape inspired by Martin Bailey. If you don't know who Martin Bailey is, he does beautiful uh, flowerscapes. But again, when I looked in the back of the camera, I kept hitting the zoom, uh, the zoom button to go in and look at all these little crispy dudes and stuff. Oh man. And uh, this is the same photograph. I just decided, you know what, later you can bring the photo into your editing program and change it. So here it's still beautiful, still sharp, but I made it a vertical photograph and just to change the composition. Now, although you have 100 megapixels, you do have to be careful with depth of field. On this 110 uh, millimeter lens at f2, you also, you can miss focus by missing the depth of field, you know, being in the wrong depth of field there. So this is, you have to make sure you get minimum focus distance correct and everything. So here I cropped in to get this picture. It reminded me of a picture I saw on the cover of a book once uh, that had a flower and then a flower in the background. So again, look at all the detail on this little leaf here. You could see all the pine needles and everything so sharp. It's like truer than life, man, the GFX life. And I also wanted to show you the buttery background that you get from this 110 millimeter lens, which is cool. And again, you can dive deep into your photographs. This one I wanted to show you because I took a picture of this to show the bokeh, but then I came back and I zoomed into this, this old water spout thingamabub and the grime and the grit in there. You can see all the webs from like spiders, both the beautiful and the ugly. This is Velvia film simulation. Uh, the colors pop just like all the other Fujifilm cameras, straight out of camera, these are all JPEGs. And uh, the beautiful, which is the flower here, 
but you can also see dead bodies of bugs and insects and all you know all kinds of webs and things just the fence just the fence no no look look <laughs> you could see all the wood and all the beautiful little lines and so the camera opens up this whole new world of detail and sharpness and that no other camera I've ever used has. So it's been a joy to use it. And uh, I wanna take more photos with it, but I just wanted to show you real quickly what I'm seeing, like jaw dropping detail with 100 megapixels. And it'll cost you people, it'll cost you, but it is fun. All right, I'll see you guys next time.